Hey everybody, welcome back to Tassa's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're going to take a look at a legacy Renee of Paris style, Renee of Paris high fashion in the Telltale Red Box. This is a part of my affordable series. We're going to check it out right from the box, uh, look at it, discuss color, and do some styling. This is Cameron in the color Sugar Cane. Coming up. I purchased this wig style with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video and expand the description box, I will attach a direct product link for this style. If you click on that link, it'll take you right out to the Wig Studio One website where you can look at all the colors and the pricing. Remember, Renee of Paris is always an automatic 30% off at checkout. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com and don't forget to visit us on our private Facebook group, Instagram page, and a wide variety of videos on the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. This is Cameron in the color Sugar Cane. So I took it out of the box. I took the net off. Comes with this little cardboard form here to help it keep its shape. This Renee of Paris high fashion style has been around for quite some time and still remains a really popular style. This is a traditional cap by Renee of Paris High Fashion. So you're gonna see a closed rose lace top and that houses the wefting and possibly some permatease. You'll typically find a little brush of fiber right along the hairline, these little fibers sticking out there and that's just to give some nice coverage there at the hairline. You have a closed rose lace ear tab, a nice sturdy stay in there. Um, an extended nape here along with the pull strap type adjusters. All right. So typical legacy Renee of Paris fits me very well with a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. Okay, isn't it cute? This is so cute. All right, so the Cap fits me very nicely with a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. I feel like this is very much average, but by, might be more suitable for a petite average or petite than a large or la average large. Um, I do feel like, like Noriko, which is kind of the sister brand, um, some of those legacy styles are also made for more of that petite average circumference. But they do, they do loosen up a little bit with wear. We saw the cap on the inside. Now I just wanna kinda of wake it up, although it looked really nice right out of the box. Love this wispy fiber. It's a really hardy type fiber. It feels soft. Um, it has a medium denier. These fibers do wear so well. It has some real unique type layers. So that first layer is gonna be about five inches and the crown is about six, and that boils down into about a three inch nape. So you are getting a little bit of stacking back there. And then you've got this layer here on the side that kind of give it that angular effect. I would say that's five to six inches on the side. So it has all of the ingredients for a shag style, but it, it seems very practical because of that fringe. This is a really what I, what I consider to be more of an anti-aging style because you've got all of this busyness around, this fa fa around the face, all of these beautiful light fluttery layers. They just hide so much, but let they, they let your eyes sparkle through. And I love that. I think their profile is really cute too. So you've got that six inch crown and then it tapers. Plus you've got a little bit of wavy curliness back there. It gives it a bump in profile. So it, it weighs about three ounces, so it's really lightweight on. There's not an overabundance of hair here. Uh, there is some permatease. You will find permatease all throughout the top, along the temple, in the back. Very little at the nape, none at the nape that I can sense, okay? So it's all there just to kind of structure and hold up the layers. It gives you some, you can definitely pinch in some volume and lift if you wanted to. So you could get it just to the right height and lift that you want. These fibers just make this feel really lightweight. They're very wispy feeling and they move so well, except for when they get caught in my lip gloss. <laughs> 
look how easily you could get an ear tuck. It's just, it's almost like it was meant to be worn that way. It stays. So this color is sugar cane, not sugar cane R. This is not the rooted version. Sugar cane is kind of a 50-50 blend of a light auburn with some uh, platinum highlighting. Okay, and I think this one ends up being looking a little more neutral because of the platinum highlighting neutralizing the color. I feel like. This I think Cameron is going to work great with glasses, uh, just because I could get that ear tuck, yes. Um, it feels nice and secure between the ear and the ear tab. It doesn't push out. It doesn't push my ear out into an uncomfortable position. It feels really nice. So I believe this would be a nice glasses friendly style, even with the ear tucks.